A pretty good example is um, BC Hydro. Um, if you're an industry, if you're a, a mine or a logging company, a logging mill uh, in BC in Interior, not only will BC Hydro pay for the line to come and, and, and hook you up to the grid, where, you know, if, if, I, if you're thinking about it, I'm going to build a logging project, I should be responsible to get pa um, for my own power, to get my own power out to that site. But the BC government will actually pay for and, and run the lines from the grid to your logging site. So already the taxpayers are um, paying for an in, in industrial development, uh, and, and I, I guarantee you the profits that that industrial development are, are, are they're bringing in are not going to go back to the people of BC. And then in addition to that, the rate that they pay for hydro is 40 cents a kilowatt hour, which is actually less than uh, what the residents of BC are paying, which is actually less than what the BC government pays to produce that power. So what you see is the, the people of BC are subsidizing the industrial rate. They're subsidizing corporations that are, you know, cons and their power needs, right? So this is just another example of how government facilitates the, the, the pr uh, corporate profits at the expense of uh, its own taxpayers and its own citizens, right? Now, a lot, of Cana a lot of people in BC don't know about this. They have no idea that this is happening. If they did know, they, they, might, be, uh, they might be frustrated about it, as frustrated about it as I am.